Hey guys, it's Lon Measley, and today I'm going to be giving you 4 tips on how to be a little bit more efficient with your time. What I mean more specifically is that sometimes some real life issues will make you get away from your computer, such as going to the bathroom. In which case, there are several things you can make your character do instead of idling around. So the first thing is just to take a flight path, preferably a long one. For example, if there's a world quest or world boss of interest, go ahead and take that flight path while you go out and go to the bathroom or something. A particular one that I like doing is flying from my garrison all the way to Shadow Moon Valley to check out the rare spawn Demidos. The reason I do that is that Demidos can be killed once a day for a chance at dropping a very valuable pet, which is worth over 20k on my server. Sometimes Demidos won't be there when you fly over, which brings me to my next point, you can also use your busy time uh, to camp out for a rare spawn, such as Demidos. Just do some research on the spawn timer, depending on how much time you'll be away or busy. With the add-on NPC scan, you can set it to play a loud sound effect whenever the rare spawn shows up, so that you can come back to the game. The next thing you can do is mass crafting. As of late, I've been buying up lots of ghost iron ore to smelt, and since 2 ghost iron ore becomes 1 ghost iron bar, then 10 ghost iron bars become 1 trillium bar with uh, alchemy transmutation, it actually takes tons of ghost iron ore to make a decent amount of um, trillium bars and living steel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can refer to my Pandaria farm video where I outline this ghost iron ore shuffle. The last thing I want to mention that you can do while you're away from the game is TSM Sniper. What it does is it scans the auction house for vastly underpriced items, which you can then buy up and flip for a massive profit. You can set it to play a sound whenever it scans an item, so that you'll be able to come back to the game when you get alerted. The sniper is actually pretty easy to set up, but for a full guide, you can check out Zionic's video in the description below. And that was all I had to share. Uh, this was a little bit of a different video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and peace out.